What's up, losers, and welcome back to another Every Freaking Wednesday. Yay, yay. Welcome back to Nellyville. Let's just uh, get right into it. <laughs> what are we doing today? Well, we're gonna get into it in a second, like we always do, but before we do that, what do we need to do, Judy's? We need to take care of business, right? So if this is your first time here, go ahead and click the big red subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up because I promise you're gonna love it. And while you're at it, go ahead and click the post notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. Why are we here? As we know, Halloween is pretty much canceled for the year. Sorry, guys, but Corona Lachey the virus, like she came along and she ride it. Okay, this is what this series is all about. Making the best of what we can do with Halloween. And then also, I know some, some of you, some of you Judy's ain't gonna sit your ass down. <laughs> some of y'all still gonna try it. You still gonna be out here up in the clubs and the little parties, darling. You know what I'm saying? So this week I figured, let's talk Halloween costumes. Hold on, there's a plane. Okay, helicopter. Come on, come on with it. Okay. Now, if you wanna just dress up at home and do something normal and healthy, you can still dress up. But some of y'all, I know y'all gonna still gonna try to step out, but you know, we don't judge around here, do they? Okay, so anyway, so what are we doing? <sighs> so I just wanted to give you guys a few quick pointers to make sure that, you know, you're not stepping out looking, you know what I'm saying? I need for y'all to be. Just a few quick things, I'm not gonna hold you long. If you're kind of like, what do I wear? One of the first things that people go to are the pop culture Halloween costumes, right? Everyone wants to do something that's relevant and there's been a lot that has happened this year that you can pull from for pop culture. So if you're struggling with what to be, make a list of some pop culture things that have happened, pull from that because pop culture and Halloween costumes is always a hit on You know what I'm saying? Make sure you're being respectful right okay so that's the first thing that's kind of the most obvious one if you wanted to go that route the second one that I can tell you to maybe do if you're not feeling pop culture you want to do something a little different but still be recognizable um, I would say go with historical figures that never goes out of style you're less likely to be seen unless you're gonna do somebody like you know like a, a celebrity or like an Albert Einstein or something like that. Now the only thing I will say about doing historical figures. If you want to be recognized just pick someone who's not completely obsolete unless you just don't care but if you're going to be sensitive and be upset when no one recognizes you okay so anyways historical figures pop culture we got it let's move on I'm not trying to keep you Judy's here all day if you can't come up with a good Halloween costume idea or nothing that's really all that original what is the number one go-to especially for my girls what do we do what do we do Judy's we make it slutty that's right you got it I know it <laughs> I know y'all, I know y'all, you know what I'm saying? So you could be something basic, be a cat, honey, be a mouse, darling, you know what I'm saying? Wear a little Victoria's Secret lingerie, put some little ears on, honey. Be a little, a Victoria's Secret angel, you know what I'm saying? Be a zombie, a Victoria's Secret angel. I don't know why it is on Halloween, girls, and I, I also too am guilty of it, why we feel like we could just completely just hurdle over the line of just complete trash and it you know what i'm living i'm living for it show the body show the body darling you know what i'm saying so if you can't think of anything just be naked okay speaking of costumes in general this is this is like probably the best advice that i can give you and i really need you all to listen okay look honey i need you to understand you listening please be careful of the of material, material okay the fabric that your costume is made out of okay now some of y'all already caught that and you know where i'm going with this but for some of my judies you need to be careful of the material that you dress in because some of y'all some of y'all can't wash that good some of y'all you you perspire maybe maybe you do i'm not saying that y'all not clean i'm not saying that you stink i'm just saying that some materials don't agree with people. They just they just don't. I don't care if you wash it with Dove, Crest, Zest, 
your home remedy. I don't give a damn. Some of y'all can't wear every material. So just be mindful, okay? Maybe give your costume a test run. And I know a lot of these costumes are made out of materials that have your ass start, you know what I'm saying? And it's, you don't want to be that person. You don't want to be that person that's like, damn, what's that smell? You don't want to, you don't want to be that, okay. Don't take it personal, I'm just a Take my advice, okay? If pop culture is not for you, if historical figures are not for you, if you're not really like kind of like the, the, the into like dressing overly sexy slutty scene, go with the classics. Be a cute ghost, be a zombie, be a witch, be a pirate. I mean, those things you could do that every single year and make it different. You can modify it, you can stay true to what their like original costumes are. Be you. If you're not someone that just wants all this extra stuff on and you know, maybe you just you just want to be a part of it. And if you're going to be sitting at home anyway, just do something simple with a little face paint, put a little fake blood, a little woo woo woo. You know, you can't go wrong with the classics. I'm just saying. Whatever you wear, this is another biggie. This one irks me. This one irks me. Consider the shoes that you are going to wear with your costume, okay? I, I really hate to see, and I don't use that word often, I hate to see a costume, a great costume, and then I look at the shoes and it's just don't break the, the the don't break the connection. You know what I mean? So you have like this great costume on and then you're wearing like tennis shoes. And if your tennis shoes go with the costume, then like sure. But try to find a shoe, you know, maybe you're not someone who likes to wear a heel and you're like, no, but all the heels are good with my costume and I don't want to wear heels. Find some shoe that at least goes with the color scheme of what you're wearing. It's nothing worse than to have a great costume and then the shoes are just like a totally different human being. Does anybody else like is that just me? Is that a pet peeve of mine? Does it matter to them? I just feel like everything from head to toe should be You know what I mean? Especially like the more you go out with the costume the more you put invest in the hair and the makeup Do the shoes if you're gonna put that much energy in otherwise Half ass everything don't go all out with this and this and then just <laughs> Okay, so enough about that moving on and we're on we're on we're on you know, this kind of follows up with what I was saying about the shoes. Yeah, I get it. You know, you want to be cute, but you want to be comfortable. So make sure that your costume is functional from head to toe. You know, people come up with these great costumes and then you get them on and you're like, uh-oh, I can't go to the bathroom. I can't fit in the car. I can't get to the door. Oh no, where's my sword? If you're the type of person that sits things down and leave it, maybe don't be a cost. Don't maybe don't wear a costume that has a prop. You know what I mean? If you're the kind of person who can't even keep up with your sunglasses, your keys, or whatever, make sure it's functional. Maybe incorporate some kind of a purse or a bag or a backpack that fits your costume that you can keep your belongings in. You know, don't be that person that's running around, oh no, has anyone seen my hat? Have you seen my sword? Where did I put my teeth? You know, it's just, don't be that, that buzz kill. And you don't wanna be uncomfortable, you wanna be cute. But most of the time, Halloween costumes can get uncomfortable, so just keep that in mind. And, and the, the last, last thing, thing that I cannot stress enough. We all want to have fun with our Halloween costumes, and a lot of us get really, really into it. And a lot of times, it's just for fun or just to be scary or whatever. But you have to have to remember, do not cultural appropriate. Do not participate in the cultural appropriation. Please don't do it. And if you're not sure, maybe don't wear it or Google it, okay? It's 2020, there's no reason for you to be caught in an insensitive Halloween costume, okay? Do not dress up like another race. And even if, even if you have those bloodlines, okay? Let's say, because the first thing y'all wanna think of is white people doing blackface. That's not what I'm talking about because anybody can cultural appropriate, okay? If let's say you have, you are a black person, but maybe you have Hispanic bloodlines. <sighs> Hear me out. If you wanted to do something, like maybe dress up like a chula or chola or something like that, if to me, if you are not apparently that race, don't do it because you don't wanna end up the next day on social media trying to explain, but my mom is one day. Like you don't want to be that person. Even if you are that race, and even if you are very uh, apparently, if you are Asian and you can tell that you're Asian, if you are black and you can tell that you are black, even if you are that thing, if you're going to dress up 
in a way that is representative of any kind of cultural thing, just make sure you do the history on it because just because you're that race doesn't mean you fully understand. So, you know, a lot of us have Native American roots. Does not mean we need to go out here and dress like Native Americans because that's not a costume. That is history. That is culture. That's not meant to be just for fun. Y'all get what I'm saying? You know, just really be mindful and maybe research your, your Halloween costumes because you don't want it to turn into something that, you know, look, it's all fun and games until it's not. So just be mindful of what you're doing. And um, maybe, you know, when you look at other people's costumes, maybe don't judge. Just say, hey, maybe they, did, they didn't know. Stop assuming the worst. Because some people, you don't know what you don't know. So don't run up to someone and say, hey, take that off. That's wrong. Uh, you know, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Anyways. <sighs> okay, guys. So that's it. Um, that's all my tips and suggestions that I have for you guys today. Take everything I said with a grain of salt. I hope I did not offend you. But you know what we do around here. We keep it real. We keep it 100 right darlings okay so um if you need any more advice or if you want to run your costume ideas by me please come find me on all of my come find me on all of my other social media and um yeah subscribe thumbs up post notification bell and i will see you in the next video bye Woo!